Alrighty then. Oh man. Oh. Hey, what's up, dogs? How's it going? Whew. I just want to go. I want to go to bed. What is this? Pay ten dollars to enter. Gosh, dang it! It's gosh, it's always getting me with this. So stupid. Just friggin' just, just here. Take it. Take it. Just take all of it. Just, just take it. Gosh, gosh dang it, man! It's so stupid. Oh, I just want to go home. Oh, I just want to in bed. Gosh, dang it, man! So annoying. Uh, stupid microtransactions. So stupid. I hate it so much. You gotta be kidding me! Imagine loading up a game of Mario 64 and realizing you only have one save slot. But that's okay because there's only one of you. But uh oh! Your little brother, who you love so dearly and really want the best for, asks if he can play a game. But, oh, how unfortunate. You have to pay 10 extra dollars for another save slot. Hmm. This is exactly what is happening in Metal Gear Survive. You start out in the game with only one save slot. And the game charges you 10 extra dollars after you've already bought a $40 game for an extra save slot. This is getting just downright ridiculous. First Battlefront 2, now this? Microtransactions have always been around, but they haven't always been as bad as they are today. Some games like Black Ops 2, Skyrim, Fallout, these all provide downloadable content that you can pay extra for. It's basically an extension of the game. And if it's reasonably priced, then there's nothing wrong with this. But charging $10 for an extra save slot? Now that's just downright ridiculous. It has turned into a completely crooked system. Not only with microtransactions being able to boost your ability to play the game, but also implementing these dumb loot boxes. Come on, baby, show me something good. Give me something good. Gosh dang it, another gold trash can. I've already got like seven of those. Microtransactions are pretty dumb in themselves, but it's even dumber whenever you pay money for loot boxes and you have no idea what you're gonna get. The purpose of microtransactions is to be able to pay a little extra for something that you might want on your character, whether it be cosmetics or a weapon skin. If you want to pay for that, then that's okay. But the fact that these loot box systems make you gamble on whether you're going to actually get what you want to get, it is terrible. Overwatch. It's a great game. I just really do not like the loot boxes in this game. All of it is cosmetics. Nothing increases your ability to play the game. It is all cosmetics, and I like that. But if someone wants a specific cosmetic, then you're going to have to buy 50 or so loot boxes and hope that you get it. I feel like you should just be able to pay for whatever you want off of the cosmetics. But then the, some of these games like Deus Ex and Metal Gear Survive come in, single player games with microtransactions implemented into them. But get this, those microtransactions are not for cosmetics or anything like that. In Deus Ex, you can literally pay for a one-use item or ability. It's so dumb. In Metal Gear Survive, you can pay extra to be able to get past some grind. Some developers make the grind in the game so unbearably long that people just get frustrated and they go ahead and pay for stuff. The absolute worst, absolute worst example of all of this is Battlefront 2, by far. Not only do they have skill-altering items that you can pay extra for, but they make it so that you have to go through hundreds of loot boxes to even get a chance of getting them. Not only do they give the option to pay for these loot boxes, but they also make the grind to get them so un bearably terrible that people always just give up and start pulling out their wallets. Oh my gosh. I'm dying. I sold my liver. Please. Just just give me <gasps> Oh my gosh! <laughs>
honestly, microtransactions are just terrible in themselves. Um, the only, the only game I've seen that handles them actually quite okay is Fortnite. This game is free to play, and it does have microtransactions. Now, I'm okay with this if the game is free to play. And, not only do they have a free game with only cosmetics as microtransactions, they also don't have these dumb loot boxes that either give you a chance to give you what you want, or give you nothing that you want. The system is all about getting money. That's all these companies want. And there's nothing wrong with trying to get money. You're a company. That's what you need. But when you get greedy and implement these crooked systems to get as much money as physically possible, now that's just downright unsporting. But somewhere down the line, I hope video game companies can realize what they need to do to have good business practice. But then you got Nintendo over here that let you earn the currency to buy the costumes in the friggin' game! Way to go, Nintendo! Way to go!